barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button august 25th don't forget come on out and hang out with me man it's gonna be a real intimate setting come on out free haircuts backpacks come on out people in the back getting haircuts we in the front giving out backpacks show up and show out 150 backpacks they should be at my house today they on next day air they should be here today okay at the latest tomorrow September 28th is the granddaddy of them all, if my man Keith Jackson would say when he used to introduce the Rose Bowl New Year's Day every year. When my Michigan Wolverines used to beat up the Pac-10. All the young motherfuckers don't know nothing about the Pac-10 and all my really old motherfuckers be like, it's the Pac-8! <laughs> Anyways, man. Darwin Price fights. I, 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 I told him I would remind y'all he fights this Saturday, August 24th on Fox Sports 1. Um... Uh, be excited about it. Uh, it's a good card. Brandon Figueroa is actually, I'm starting to like him because I interview him and he's so coy. You know, like he does, I don't think he really knows to get this driver's the steering wheel out your frame. He don't really know how good he can be, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see him fight. Darwin Price is the first uh, fight on, the, on TV and uh, Darwin, so feel free to go check them out. Darwin Price out of Houston. Man got a man man's birthday is the same day as Nipsey Hustle, man. I gotta shout that king out. August 15th, don't forget. I mean, excuse me. Oh, August 15th is his birthday, if I'm not mistaken. August 24th, this Saturday. Uh FS1. Uh I think it's five o'clock my time. PST, so you guys figure out where you guys at. And uh, it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good weekend, man. It's an exciting this is an exciting weekend, man. It's the uh, we rolling into the last four weeks of Christmas. I mean God damn, of, of summer, and uh, it's gonna be good. And also, man, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add a story to this so Darwin Price can get some more legs to him. Keith Thurman, my God, I mean, like for real, honestly, how how do you get that big that quick? Like, I understand people getting bigger. Like Canelo, no disrespect. I I, I know I don't like mentioning his name. But when he gets bigger, he looks in shape. When Floyd Mayweather gains his 10, only about 10 pounds if he does, he looks good. He looks in shape, you know. But Keith Thurman looked like he didn't even fight. Don't lie. Don't he look like Keith Thurman looked like that light-skinned nigga in the hood that realized he had to get a job. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you know, everyone, oh, pretty Tony, pretty Tony. Next thing you know, it's bus stop Tony. You know what I mean? He, he got his uh, he got his collared shirt on at the bus stop on Florence and Normandy. <laughs> heading heading um no excuse me, yeah Florence and Normandy the 10 now fuck let's change it to to Slauson and Normandy about to catch the 108, you know to the Fox Hill area because he got a desk job over there in the Fox Hills Mall as as a security personnel and shit. You know what I mean? That's who Keith Thurman look like, dog for real. All my LA niggas is dying right now. But anyways, man. <laughs> Anyways, man, y'all have a great day, man. Keith Thurman, man, you man, you you can't, dog. Oh, it's like you don't even, for real. It's like you don't even care, you know. I've heard stories about Roberto Duran, you know, about how he used to balloon and weight, and he looked like he wasn't even a fighter. Chavez Senior, I don't even think he weighs 150 pounds right now. You know, he's kept himself in great shape. Floyd Mayweather, in terms of weight, has kept himself in great shape. His his muscle density has changed. But he's still 165, 160, you know, in great shape. At least he's Bernard Hopkins in great shape. You know what I mean? Like fighters, don't every every steak you eat, every potatoes with gravy, it's costing you rounds. It's costing you rounds of excellence. It's costing you rounds of greatness. You know, and uh, um, it. it it's going to shorten his window of greatness. It might not shorten his career because he can fight as long as he wants, you know, but I, I can get, I can almost guarantee you it's going to shorten your window of greatness, your, your windows of prime, you know, because instead of, instead of getting better in the gym, you're cutting weight, you know what I mean? And, uh, it gets cumbersome, you know, I just did, I just did 17, I did 17 rounds a day, uh, you know what I mean? And I'm not where I want to be. But I'm getting there. September 26th, I'm going to be a god. I'm going to look like a god. I am a god, but I'm going a, I'm to a look like a god. You know what I mean? I, so, but anyways, man. Shout out to Darwin Price, man. I can't believe he fights at 140. He said the highest he goes is 152. I think that's incredible, man. 
man, stay grinding, man. If you got a dream, stay grinding, man. Protect your dream. Ain't that what uh, Will Smith told his son in that movie? Uh, when he ended up becoming an IT millionaire or a stock multi-multi-millionaire? He, he told his son when he got out the bathroom, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. He shook the hell out of his son. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. Protect your dream. All right? And fighters, protect your dream in between fights. All right? Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, talk to you soon. Peace.